Hey guys! Uh, so, this week's theme is Back to School. I'm Bree, I just joined the channel. Um, so, yeah, you'll be seeing a lot of me every week. Um, my- the topic I chose for this week is, um, your mental health versus grades slash school. Um, I personally have dealt with this, um, so like, your mental health is more important than your grades. If there is something going on, you need to go see a counselor as soon as you can. Like, especially if you're feeling like you want to hurt yourself and or others, go to a counselor. I swear to God, it will save your life. Um, I have really bad anxiety. Um, it's a lot easier for me to be behind this camera than it is for me to see you, like, in person and talk about this. Um, I went to a counselor myself, um, and it got so bad that I was put into cyber school because it got to the point where I was almost agoraphobic, which kind of turned out to be not a good idea because while I was there, I did stop communicating with people, I stopped socializing, and I am an extrovert with anxiety, which is very contradictory in itself, but it causes me to, you know, not be able to socialize as much as I need to to feel healthy mentally um but most importantly like bad mental health can mean bad grades which c's are average so if you're in like a basic or applied class and you're getting a c you're perfectly fine but if you're in an honors class and you're getting like a d like you're doing great c c's are average like in an average class a c is average but the thing is, your grades are nothing without you, so you need to take care of yourself. Your mental health is just as important as your physical. And doing your best is enough, even if it doesn't seem like it. If someone is making you feel like your best is not good enough, sit down, try and have a talk with them, try and explain to them how you're feeling, because it's really important that you don't push yourself too hard and that you make sure you're taking care of yourself. Your mental health is more important than one grade, in one class, in one year of your life, okay? You have so much potential, and you have so much to live for, and there's just- there are going to be better days. Um, for those of you who haven't checked out Danny's videos, go do that after you finish this, and everybody else's, but um, Danny just graduated from the high school that I go to as well, and she really helped me through this year, like, with the transition into from middle school into high school and when I came back from cyber school the second semester she acted like I had never left and it was great it felt nice to be accepted like that so try and find those friends like that I'm quite sad she's graduated and going to college now I love you Danny um and something that we have all discussed is like high school may not be the best four years of your life, but you need to make the most of it. Going through it with the mindset that it's something you need to survive is already setting you up for failure. Things might be bad right now, but I can guarantee you they will get better. They did for me and they will for you. If things are bad, they will get good. If things are good, they will get better. Nothing but improvement is going to happen. Like if you were doing bad in middle school, you can start over once you go into high school and it's really great that you can do that. Um, so, yeah, take care of your mental health, take care of your physical health, uh, your health, especially mental, is more important than grades, no matter what the school system tries to teach you, and I love you, later nerds, check out everybody else's videos.